All right, so what we've got here is a laser lathe, um, also known as a cylindrical coordinate CNC machine. Um, this is all custom, um, at least so far as there were no internet plans involved. Um, I did use a few modules, which I'll talk about here in a second. Actually, we'll talk about it right now. So, uh, I should zoom out here for a second so you can see it. Um, so I have, it focuses, I have about 1.2 meters of travel which allows me to do uh, dowel rods fairly easily. Um, the actual length is about one and a half meters, which is pretty good. Um, the linear axis, which is this way, um, is from Open Builds and was around 100 bucks. The, not including the separate motor, I had that on my own. Um, this right here is, is eBay special, so Chinese brand, Chinese goodness. Um, took a little bit of modding to get the belt tight enough to where it was actually accurate. Um, the uh, laser itself is cheap Chinese brand from Amazon. Uh, it's one and a half watts, 405 nanometers. Um, this orange window right here is the laser shielding. Um, this is from a company called JTEC Photonics in the US. Um, I can't remember how much it cost. It wasn't too bad. Um, it cuts the, uh, the laser brightness by a factor of about a thousand. So if we go you know, to the other side of it, you can see me get a bright purpley blue. Um, at least that's the color that I'm seeing. I don't know what the camera picks up. Um, yeah, a little bit of smoke here. Let's zoom in on here a second. Smoke, yay, it works. I mean, I already kind of knew it works. It's not the, <laughs> not the first time I've done this, but let's see, what else can I tell you about it? We're running off a little Arduino. This is a uh, Arduino Uno clone with a CNC machine, also cheap Chinese brand crap, but it works. Um, I think I said gerbil 1.1. If I didn't, then there you go. It's running gerbil 1.1 firmware, little 12 volt power supply. Um, let's see, what else? What else, what else, what else? Oh, this guy, just in case anybody asks me about it. This, this was originally, I designed this for a K40 laser build and the, um, the TTL logic levels for this laser, according to the seller, were roughly the same. So I decided to use this again. Um, it, uh, it, didn't, it didn't work. So the, uh, the seller was wrong. The laser levels were different. So right now it's just kind of there um, bridging, <laughs> bridging wires together. That'll disappear and things will get spliced uh, the right way and that, that board taken out for use in other places. But I think we're about wrapping up here. Yeah. Also, not sponsored by Lowe's. I'm at my local makerspace, uh, which is, you know, a public place. And I uh, tried not to burn people's eyeballs out, so made a little cage out of boxes. There's also a sign on the door that says, do not open. But... Yeah, so... There we go. Let's move the card out of the way. Let's take a look here. I can rotate this by hand. So look, it works!